I'm Luna. And I'm American. Welcome to Luna Oi! This week I'm gonna teach Americans some Vietnamese. And I'm gonna teach Luna some English. Oh no. My lesson today is first I will teach Americans some uh, simple Vietnamese sentences mm-hmm. in daily life. Mm. But and you will find that it's not so simple after all. <laughs> You may have noticed that Vietnamese is a tonal language, meaning that, you know, the words have to go up or down, or, 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 or maybe flat. There are a lot of different tones and in Vietnamese. Tone. It's very, very complicated. I've been studying this language for about five years now, and I still don't even really basically grasp them. <laughs> so, you'll probably never understand Vietnamese. So you might as well quit now while you're <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Okay, so we have a five tones in Vietnamese. Uh, we first tone we have the down tone. Down. Down tone. We call down. Huyen. 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 Down. down tone. Like Chào in Xin Chào. Chào is down Chào. tone. Mm. And we have up tone. Up. Up. And we call it sap. Sap. Suck, suck, suck. Yes. And the dot. The dot it would be like the really down, really dot. down tone. They, my teacher taught me it's in your stomach. You know, dot. 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 And we have the uh, hook. Like the question mark. We call it, the, in English, we call it the question mark tone. So it's like. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we call it a high. 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 Yeah, nice. Hi, Luna. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is the creaky tone. It's like it looks like a it, it looks like a wave. Creaky tone. Creaky. So if you want to say America in Vietnamese, it's creaky tone. It's me. Me. Mm. <clears throat> so, so. Oh, you forgot. Now, There's one more tone. Uh, one more tone is no tone. Flat. Flat tone. How do you say hello in Vietnamese? Okay, how do you say hello? Mm. We say xin chào. Xin chào. Xin chào. Yes. So it's flat tone down. And down. Xin chào. Xin chào. It's like chào in um, Italian. It's Italian. I think. Chào. But we. Oh, we go down. down tone. Xin chào. Xin chào. Yeah. We're yes. gonna teach you the two most basic pronouns that are like the very very polite version of me and you. So the most polite way to say me or I would be. Tôi. Toi, which is a flat tone, right? Mm. Toi, toi. Mm. And the most polite way to say you would be. Ba. Ban. <clears throat> ban. Ba. What's the tone for that? Dot. Dot tone. So, oh yeah, so I gotta go really low. Ban. Mm. Ban. Toi, ban. Ba. So if I wanted to ask Luna, what is your name? Name is. Name is Dan. Dan. Flat tone. Dan. Dan. Is or to be is la. la. So if I wanted to say, uh, what is your name? I would actually say your name, name is, is what? What is Z? Z. 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 And we're teaching the Hanoi accent, by the way. Z. So um, no, actually, the Z you got wrong. Z. Z. Well, you have to remember that I first originally learned my Hanoi accent from a teacher in Saigon, who has a Saigon accent. No, it's, it's not Z, it's Z. Z, Z, Z. See, I'm learning something now. <laughs> so it's just like Z. a Z. Z. Or a Z if you're from Z. Canada. Yeah, exactly, Oregon. like Z. Now it's Z. Okay. So put it all together. Ten ba la Z. Oh, really? Oh. It's not ban ten la Z. It's all the same. It has, they have the same meaning. This ban is ten so la Z or ten ba la Z. Difficult. It's okay. This is so difficult. I've only heard people say like ban ten la zi. I've never heard somebody say ten ban la zi. Yeah, we, I usually use ten ban la zi more than ban ten la zi. <laughs> hey, can you teach me how to say warm and warm? Ah uh, yes, Luna's, <laughs> Luna's, Luna's got a small problem with. Well, I think it's because you learned British English first, right? Yeah. Now, I don't know why, but British people just don't use R's. At least at the ends of words, it's like. Oh, the R is silent. Like, in American English, there are these two words. One of them is floored. Floor. For instance, I could say, like, it's a tile-floored house. Oh. Or it could mean, like, I'm really, really 
surprised, like, oh, I was totally floored. Like, I was on the floor. Okay, okay. okay. Floored. Floored. And then there's the word flawed, which means it has flaws. It's not flawed. perfect. Flawed, right? Flawed. Okay, so in British English, those are homophones. They sound exactly the same. Uh, They'd be like, I'm flawed. <laughs> or you could say, I'm flawed. <laughs> it's like the same, because they, they like drop the R. I don't know, it's so funny to me. This is the way that I've taught students in the past. You have to think of yourself as a pirate oh. if you're speaking American English. I want some water. Water. I, I, you know, like, I'm floored. Floored. Right. Okay. Now, so now we can start to talk about worm and warm. Uh, it's hard. It's a difficult. It's difficult. I know it's difficult. Uh, were. You know how to say were? Like, we were. Were. We were at the mall. Were. We were. 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 were okay. Were. 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 Worm. Worm. Perfect. Worm. Worm. And that's the animal? That's the animal, <laughs> yes. Worm. Okay, you know war, like the Vietnam War. War. Which you would call the American War. 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 Good. War. War. Worm. Worm. <laughs> you just said worm perfectly. <laughs> you just said the animal <laughs> worm perfectly. <gasps> So the worm was warm. The the worm was warm. Pretty good. The worm was warm. Mm, it was a warm worm. It 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 was a warm worm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did it right. That was good. It's just that it I've never thought I'd hear somebody say it was a warm worm in such a dramatic and and like pathos-inducing way. was right. Can you duplicate it? Were. They were. Oh, that was astounding. Okay. They were. Now, See? they were warm worms. They were warm worms. That was pretty good. If you did that, if you could do that on command, you'd be a warm worm expert. If you're studying Vietnamese, you need to know how to say, oh my god, or express your frustration. So in Vietnam, we consider the sky is the most important thing. So like, oh my god, we call Joy Oi! Joy means sky. No, like, oh my sky. Like, and you know that from the name of this channel, Luna Oi, Oi is like saying, hey! Mm. So if you want to say, oh my gosh, or oh my god, translate that to Vietnamese, you would say, hey sky! <laughs> or, oh Joy sky! Oi. So you say, Joy, Joy Oi! Joy is Dalton. Joy oi. Platon. Joy oi. Joy oi. Bantin lazi. And then how would you answer? Me name is. So, toi ten la. Luna. Ah, toi ten la. American. <laughs> then if I want to say goodbye, I could say. Xin chào bạn. Xin chào bạn. Yeah. Remember, bạn means like Xin chào. We can you. use both for hello and goodbye. Right. So let's do a very very small dialogue. Mm -hmm. Xin chào bạn. Xin chào. Bạn tên là gì? Tôi tên là Luna. Bạn tên là gì? Tôi tên là American. Xin chào. Xin chào bạn. Or you can say bye bye. You can say bye bye. Bye bye. They say that a lot. They are asking, how do you say a worn, warm, warm in How do you say a worn, warm? You actually said that pretty well, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, when you weren't thinking about it. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> when we say something like that, we will slow down. We won't say it really fast. A worn, warm, warm. Good job, yeah, good. Okay, how do you say it in Vietnamese? So, a worm is the um. Um. Okay. Um. So. Warm so worm. So, so um. um. So um. So we put the okay. subject and then the the 
noun and then the adjective. How do you say worn? Worn so tired. It means mad. It's not. <laughs> so it'd be so a mad. Yes, so a mad. So a mad. So the difference. So I have. It's to... the most useless Vietnamese language lesson of all time. <laughs> So now, I think the final segment, since you're wearing this beautiful uh, bunny hat, um, let's talk about some funny animal names. Shark. Mm. Cá mập. which means fat, fat fish. fish. <laughs> and, which is true, I guess. I mean, Come kind of on, shark is fat. What about a kangaroo? Chutui. Chutui, which means? Pocket mouse. <laughs> it's a pocket mouse. <laughs> A kangaroo is a pocket mouse. And koala. Yeah, how do you say koala in Vietnamese? Go to it. Pocket bear. Pocket bear. <laughs> they have bear and they have pocket. I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> cucumber. Cucumber? How do you say cucumber? Do it. Oh yeah, it's like a mouse. Mouse melon. Mouse melon. <laughs> Squid? Muk. 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 Like ink. Ink. M M because they contain ink, right? And they, call, oh, we, they just call it ink. <laughs> ink. We call it ink. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Thanks for teaching me some Vietnamese today, Luna. It was very exciting and interesting, and I feel like... Actually, I really don't feel like I've made much progress at all. <laughs> it's going to be another five years before I make any progress, I'm sure. Oh, I so hope that you enjoy learning about warm worms. Oh, my eyes are difficult. And about the R. But remember, uh, Luna. Uh, remember one thing. The most important thing in studying a language is to practice a little bit every day. Mm. 15, 20 minutes every day, and mm. you will make real progress. Mm. And remember... If you make a mistake, it's fine. Mm, it's fine. I make mistakes all the time speaking English, and it's my native language. So why should I care if I make a mistake in mm. some other language that's not my native language? Mm. You learn from your mistakes. So get out there and make some mistakes. Anten la zi. Toiten la luna. Toiten la American. Thank Xin you for watching, Kakban. everybody. Come on. Mm. Hang up lai. See you next week. <laughs> I know those are all English words coming out of your mouth, but I understood very a one. Take two. Wait. <clears throat> me, 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 me. I'm gonna do what Luna always says. Take two. Cut. <laughs> Action. <laughs> she always pretends we have like a huge crew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like there's no one behind the camera, Luna. There's no one to cut it.